G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a lovely question for middle schoolers on geometry or possibly algebra. Here it is. All right, the strategy I'm going to employ here is actually strategy number four, which is to draw a picture. It seems very natural here. So I'm going to draw a picture of two trees. We've got one tree, let's have fun drawing a picture. That's a very strange blobby tree, and a second tree. That's it, my two trees. Not a very good picture, but it doesn't matter. But we're told in the question, one is 16 feet taller than the other. So I guess this distance here is 16 feet. And we're also told that uh, the heights of the trees come in a three to four ratio. Now, when I think of ratios, I don't normally draw pictures, but I'm gonna to try to draw a representation of that ratio in this picture I have on the board now of two pictures, or two trees, two very strange trees. So one tree and another tree come in a three to four ratio. So maybe at first thoughts, I'm gonna say this is four units high, and that's three units high. But there might be a strange thing to write, given that these are some strange units I don't know about, but that's definitely units of feet. Maybe another way to depict a three to four ratio is to call this four of something and three of something. Now, look at this picture. I've called it 4x and 3x to represent the 4 to 3 ratio of the heights of the trees. I can stare at this picture and see what x is right now. Can you see it? If you'd like, go have a look at the curriculum burst essay with this problem. It actually goes through the solution here and actually gets some lovely extensions to this problem too. So there's lots of fun to be had with this question. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations, please go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.